Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Yorks Crafter. My name's Julie and today I have got Floss Tube episode 154. So, what have I been stitching on since last Floss Tube? So, first of all, we are going to start with the end of April. So, after my last floss tube, I pulled out a small project which is Ho 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 from Erin Elizabeth Designs. So I will show you that one. Let me just find it. Trying to find it. Oh, there it is. It's this one. It's Erin Elizabeth Designs with the baubles. It's ho ho ho. It is only a small one. It's 58 wide by 60 high. So. That is what the finished piece is going to look like and as you can see the sample is on black fabric but I have chosen not to use black fabric. So I have gone for a tea coffee dyed Ada and this one I stitched 101 stitches. And that is where that one is now. I did, I think, finished off this H here and then started in this bauble here. So this is the bottom. So I need to do the other ho up the top there. <clears throat> but that is what that one is looking like now. So that is that one and then I picked up Turtle Quaker by Owl Forest Embroidery and this was to finish off my Whip Go Girl uh, get this one up so this is a Turtle Quaker this was my large non-full coverage for April so this is what this piece is going to look like when it's finished and this to finish it off I needed just under 200 stitches and I think I did 204 stitches on this piece so this is what this piece looks like now. So I did some of the green um, and then I looked for another brown for the other turtle up here. They are slightly different colours. So you can see this is more like a ready brick brown and this is just a little bit lighter so yes like I said I got my whip go girl I got a thousand stitches on that one it's my uh, whip go girls are five days or a thousand stitches whichever comes first and then the rest of Friday Saturday Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday I stitched on Ocean Pearl. So let me get this one up. So this is the full complete piece. So this is from Tiny Modernist and this was last year's summer stitch along so it came in three parts so the first part were these flowers and vines and then the outline 
of the globe part two was the bottom here the treasure chest the mermaid and the pirate and then part three is this part in the globe itself so this was last year's summer stitch along from tiny modernist and this one in total them yeah them days 2,592 stitches so this is where we are now so this is where this one is yeah so 2,500 over how many days so I worked in the globe here so I started with the sand at the bottom and then just worked my way did some of the plants and the seaweed came in and did the whale I went up and did the octopus then I did some of these little fishies in here I counted and did this fish here then this one and then I think last night I was starting on the jellyfish here so once I have done the jellyfish I need to stitch the bubbles and then I can come in and finish the stack here so I need to do the turtle the sea turtle and then the starfish at the top so I don't actually know how many stitches I have left because yeah I kept importing it wrong and then it wouldn't upload the progress and so yeah I'm just <laughs> just working from what I've now uploaded I can always go in and fill in um, what I've already stitched manually so then I can see how much I have left to do so I could do that while this video is uploading and then like I said just see what I have left to finish so there's not much there really is not much at all left to do on that one so if I keep plugging away at it I am hoping I will have a finish in May <clears throat> so um, I have also worked Monday and Tuesday I have worked on my anniversary piece so this is called always and forever it's a modern folk embroidery wedding sampler so this is what this one looks like and yeah because it's in the magazine I've not counted stitches I could count stitches but hey let me move the needle minder and then I can show you where I am up to so this is what this piece looks like now so I finished off the border these past couple of days and now I'm coming in and doing mine and my husband's name mark and then I will put the uh, date the 20th of May so that is what this one is going to look like so I am very much hoping for a finish before the 20th but I don't think it's going to happen right so let me share with you guys some of the challenges so the projects I have worked on so far so none have gone into the 24 hours of cross stitch 
so the first of may um the ocean pearl and then i doubled it for the i spy a curved line and always and forever the a random stitcher challenge the youtuber mania then the second the song title for i spy the ocean pearl so we've got uh, under the sea little mermaid and then we have always and forever there on the second so one two three four five challenges completed in two days so let me just see um i think let me just see um yeah there's going to be quite a few that i am going to be able to uh double dip so uh always be yourself is going to go into 24 hours of cross stitch cross stitching sisters um I spy so yeah I'm probably going to be able to double dip that uh, triple dip that one so always be yourself always be yourself and always be yourself so so far I've only been able to double dip so my projects I try and look what I have for my 24 hours of cross stitch acrostic because that's the main game that I play so then I try and incorporate some of those into my other challenges um, so like I did for always and forever and ocean pearl I was able to work on that project for one day but then complete two challenges <coughs> so yeah very very pleased with that so this weekend i am going to be diamond painting so i will show you get on to me so I am going to be diamond painting on this little guy it's a be kind gnome so the gnome there with the honey pot and the sunflowers so that's what I'm going to be working on this weekend so I'm going to be diamond painting and then starting next week i am going to be working on mini afternoon tea and this is by heaven and earth designs artwork by randall spangler so let me find that one so this is mini afternoon tea by randall spangler chartered by heaven and earth designs and this is 260 by 325 <clears throat> and it is 89 colors so yeah i'm going to be stitching carrying on stitching that on 16 count uh, a gridded ada pre-gridded fabric 
so yeah that's going to be starting on monday so yeah mini afternoon tea and that one is currently i have 770 stitches and it's at 0.91 percent so i think i have just got some of the outline border like the frame so that's what i've got on that one so far so next i need to show you what i have seen online so we have the Darin Jones at Friday Freebay and she says good morning everyone it's been a very busy week here for me but nothing I can post but nothing I can post about just now so here I am with the Friday Freebay and of course no matter how busy things get there is always time to sit and kick there is always time for a sit and kick. So that is the Doreen Jones Friday Freebay. There is always time for cake. And like she says there, there is always time for a sit and cake. So also, because it is a long weekend here in the uk we are having a bank holiday monday she is having a sale so a 50 percent off sale and she says as it's a long weekend here in the uk i've decided to have a sale in my etsy shop so from now until midnight on monday the 6th uk time you can get 50 percent off no need for a code just look in my shop so she is having a sale. So I think that is everything for this floss tube. I don't think I have anything else to share. So no diamond painting this weekend and then starting uh monday i will be working on mini afternoon tea so that is my large full coverage and then well from next floss tube i will be working on my large non-full coverage which is crossword from long dog samplers and then yeah so that is my plan going forward but yeah i am so very pleased with the progress on ocean pearl over 2500 stitches in one two three four five six seven days yeah in seven days over 2500 stitches i am so happy so yeah ocean pearl i am hoping for a finish and also room on my broom I am hoping for a finish with that one I think I've nearly completed the witch so I need to finish off the broom and the characters on the broom so because I've mentioned it I will show it so this one is room on my broom it says there's always room on my broom for friends like you and this is from don't forget to floss finally a farm girl so i'm hoping this one be this one will be a finish as well so yeah i need to finish off the witch and then i have the rest of the characters on the broomstick there to do so that one is at 
over halfway, 56.18%. And I've put 1,964 1, stitches into that. So yeah, it's over halfway. Over halfway. So yeah, possibly while I am diamond painting this weekend, if I get, you know, any afternoon stitching time daytime stitching um i if i get <clears throat> let me try that again if i get any time during the day any time in the afternoon i will stitch and then after tea and then in the evening time i will diamond paint so yeah stitch during the day and then diamond paint after tea so yeah, that is everything for Floss Tube this week. Um, it's been a quick one, 20 minutes, 21 minutes. So yeah, a quick one this week. But yeah, I'm going to let you guys go and enjoy the rest of your day. So remember guys, in a world where you can be anything, be kind. Bye guys.